I know you didn't know I was coming, so there's nobody here. What a shame. Not to worry. I'm sure people will go, what's that? Tim's online. It's only nine o'clock. Anyway, so this is the, hopefully the new time for the walks. And today I'm with Steve. Morning, everybody. There's nobody watching, not even his missus, because both our missus are meditating. Most definitely. Let's go and have a look. So today we're in the Duke shops and we're going to walk around the back. I'm going to turn you around. Oh, not standing on his thing. Gracias, señor. Gracias. Morning, Tim, says Steve Cole. Those who just joined us. I'm at the Duke shops and I'm with uh, Steve here. Good morning. And we're uh, going to have a quick walk around the back. So right in front of us is the old market. And it's, I think it is still on, but limited. We're going right here, Steve. So we're going to walk, take our life in our hands. Morning, Tracy. Thank you for supporting the channel. Morning, Stu. Who else? David's on. Anne's on. Julie's on. Cool. David, good morning. We're due to go to play at Paradiso this Friday. Weather stays the same. Enjoy it. Okay. We might see you on Monday then at the Monday meetup in Cayo Savaki in uh, Terrasa de Abli. So we're walking up past the Duke shops now. And we're coming up to Adeshi Gran, the GF. And it is open. It hasn't been open for about 18 months, but it is open now. Let's have a quick look over here. So, we did a bit of cinematic. To restaurant La La. So, let's see what's on there. This is the GF Cost, Gran Costa Adeji Grill. Good evening. Hello. I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> Else Christina, she's fine. Muchas gracias, señor. Buen día. Buen día. Buen trabajo. Top of the morning, what's the weather like in May? It's the same every day, every time, every single day. The only difference in the seasons is how cool it gets at night. But in the sun, 20 to 25 degrees every day. So here we go, Adeki Grand. It's a nice hotel, this. I didn't get to work here, unfortunately, because the entertainment manager was a bit naff. And so he was telling me what to do. And I said, you know what? I don't work with people like you. <laughs> so I never got it. Unfortunately, he was the, he was the head honcho. <laughs> I didn't get a job in any of the hotels after Oops. that. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. Okay, for those who just joined us, we're at Del Duck Shops. I'm saying weird because I'm with somebody today. This is Steve. He contacted all. me, he's been in about a week, staying there only a few days. And he said, if you're going for a walk and I'm in the area, then uh, let me know. So I said, well, I'm going Duke shops. And they turned up. I so did. I'm walking pretty fast because I'm on I'm a show off, but I'm not usually like this. <laughs> you go as slow as you like. <laughs> as slow as I like, okay. I'm resting. Oh, I just forgot my water. <sighs> That makes two of us. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hope to meet you in Casino when we're over. Tracy, no problem, just let me know. We've actually got this Monday meetup uh, that we're doing. Uh, it's at the Terrasa del Abli in Clausavachi. And I've decided that's the easiest way 
because Chris and I can just walk down to it and anybody who's on the island can get the 473, it drops them right outside. And then if they want to get back quick, they can get a taxi back to wherever they are or they can uh, get the 473 back to wherever they're going, either Los Cristianos or Los Gigantes direction. So I'm going to show you this before I do it. Ah, this is the hill, the hill. And this gonna, is... Uh, are we going to run? No, we're not going to run. <laughs> <laughs> this is the GF Victoria behind us here. This is the water park that they've got. And uh, you probably saw this on last drive around I did coming down here. So we're going to walk up here and then the drive around we started with the park. So we're going to walk around the park and have a quick look there and then come back and uh, maybe if we've got time, maybe nip down to Tanyo's and then I'll come back and pick the car up. But we'll see. So this hill's pretty boring. Shame I can't put it in fast motion. So I'll turn it around to us and read some of your comments. There we go. We got 39 people watching, nine thumbs up. I know I'm a bit oh. early today, but uh, hi Sue, hi Mary Ann, Suzanne. Can you see the comments? Without my glasses, no. <laughs> <sighs> I'm quite lucky because I can still read without glasses. Yeah. Uh, I have to put glasses on to read everything then. Okay, so where are you from, Sue? Um, originally Birmingham. Birmingham? I now live in Telford. Uh, Shropshire. Okay. Um, most people know Ironbridge. Ironbridge, yeah. Yeah, so not too far from there. Cool. And how long have you been coming over to the island? Uh, oh, this is either our 13th or 14th year. Wow. Um, same place every year. Just love the people, the atmosphere, just the island itself. Uh -huh. you just, it gets in, gets in your blood and that's it. That's true. We came over here once and I said, I'd like to retire here. And Chris said, if you retire, That'll take us 15 years. And I don't know how I'm going to be in 15 years. No. And so I retired the following year. Sounds good. <laughs> At 53. I'm due to do that next year. Cool. Unfortunately, it's 66. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm quite lucky because I've been working since I was 16. So I got 45 years in. And they let me retire at 60 at the company and uh, the Germans let you retire at 63 if you've had 45 years in. That's good. I, uh, yeah, so I was with the MOD for 18 years. Oh wow. Um, so basically if I'd have still been with them uh -huh. I'd have uh, retired at 60 as well. You want to take our life with our hands? So, actually, I'm not sure whether there's a path through this park. I think there might be. So, what were, are you allowed to tell me what you did in the MOD? Uh, just as a civilian. I uh, repaired base overall the um, warriors. Okay. All the ones that you see out in the Gulf. Uh -huh. yeah, there's a path. Yeah, just there, just bits and pieces. And a seat. <laughs> and a seat. Oh, we're going to have a little sit. Get my breath back for running up Phil. you got sandals on now, you're all right. Put trainers on to walk. I find a trip over a lot in sandals. I need to get trainers as well. Oh. So we're going to sit on the bench. Oh. That's good. There you go. So, see what people are saying. 50 people watching now. Uh, Mark, Sue, Marianne, Dave. I'll just see. The only Lang, hi. The only. Sorry that I didn't work the other day. Uh, what's the weather like? Are we still online, ladies? Yeah, we are. Good to see you out again, says Gary. Yeah, it's been a while. Christina decided to swim on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so it was a bit pitch potch. Then I had a load of uh, things to do, like dentists and stuff like that. Then I was just lazy and didn't get up. And uh, 
So I decided I'm really got to do this now. So instead of rotting in bed, I went to bed early last night and got up at uh, 7.30 to be here for 8, 8.45, was it? 8.45. 8.45. Yeah. Starting around about 9 or just before 9, and this is going to be the new time. Tomorrow I do have a dentist appointment at 10.15, so I'll either be very early or I won't come. But uh, I might do 30 minutes walk before the dentist and then have a shower, then come home. Or maybe not, not walk too hard and just walk to the dentist with you guys. I might even put you on the count. No, I won't do that because <laughs> we're having a chat about my teeth. I'm going to see if I can get this one redone. But the ones that he put top and bottom, I can't wear them. So there's going to be... That was two grand wasted, unfortunately. I'm hoping he's going to do something with the profit he made, but we'll mm, see. You never know. Right, so I'll show you where we are. Okay, so this is the park at the back of the Duke shops, and this is the back of the Adeki Grand Hotel. And we're going to walk down here and see as far as we can get on this rough path. And then the street down there, we'll find out whether we've got to turn right or not. Or we might be able to carry straight on and we'll see. I've never been here before on foot, so it'll be quite uh, interesting. You ready, Steve? We'll go for it. There you go. So, so you've done any, um, any trips? Uh, not as yet. Uh, booked a couple, as I said earlier, with Daniel. Uh -huh. um, we can do the uh, Whale and Dolphin one on Wednesday morning. Uh -huh. Nice early start again. Uh, back for a, a quick coffee, shall we say, and uh, a siesta. And then we're off to do the Stargazing on Mount Tidy on Wednesday night. Oh, that's going to be nice. Which I'm really looking forward to. I'm not so sure about the wife. I mean, it's a nice place. Have you got winter clothes, eh? Uh, no. Then you need a jacket. Uh, from what Daniel's told us, they do supply oh, jackets. Oh, that's why the there, jackets, so, yeah. okay. So I'm going to have very cold knees, but warm, warm elbows. <laughs> yeah. You might want to get some TikTok leggings. TikTok leggings? Yeah. I only know what that is because of me. Some friends. Keep your legs warm. Uh -huh. And wear socks. <laughs> and wear socks, yeah. I bought, I bought socks with me. That's me in 10 years. Not. Oh, oh that's me yesterday. <laughs> Struggling. Oh, let's have a look down here. This is a natural barranco, I think. Barranco's been, are they natural drains? Barranco's just a valley, really. Just a valley. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a water valley. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think they were formed by the lava flows. I see. From the Tady. And uh, you're not allowed to build in them because they bring water off the mountains. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people have built in them, but it's done drains or tunnels or stuff, you know. Uh -huh. But uh, we still get flooding sometimes. Yeah, Damien, hi, guy. How's it going, my friend? Ah. Oh, I'm here with a, another guest now, Steve. Morning, Damien. And I've got something in my bloody shoe now. Can I say bloody? There you go. Uh, balcony banter last week was quite good. If you haven't watched it, go and have a look at that one. That was quite intense, actually. It was so intense, in fact, that they demonetized it. So they're limiting the adverts on it because of subject matter. So at least we're doing something, right? So this path's quite wide. Good morning, Tim. Everybody, nice to see you back walking. I really missed it. Says, who was that? Uh, Michael, Michael Penny. Okay, we've got to go to the right now. Got to keep our distance. There was a doctor in the World Health Organization saying that even if you jab now, you can still get it. It won't be as uh, virulent as it is if you're not jabbed, but uh, you can still get it and give it. So they do still recommend distancing, mask wearing, hand washing, and coughing to your elbow. I never know how to do that though, coughing into my elbow. No, just won't work, would it? 
Uh -huh. Hi, Karen. So, for those who are just joining us, we're at the back of the Duke Shops and the Costa Adeki Gran. And this is the back of the Duke Hotel Duke, I think. And with Steve, who's joining us from Iron Bridge or near Iron Bridge, in Telford. We're in a park at the back here. This park actually goes quite far. It's uh, in between the uh, north and south facing things. And what's that over there? That is, I think that is GF Isabel we're looking at over there. So we're going to walk down to that. I'm going to get some money anyway, eventually. So we'll have a quick look. Oh, no, we'll do. We'll carry on. Having a break? Great. So for those of you just uh, that used to watch me, I would normally go walking at 10 or even later. But now I've decided I need to get back early for Chris. So what we're doing now is I'm getting up at 7.30, 8 o'clock and I want to be vlogging by 9. So tomorrow I've got a dental appointment at 10.15. So I'm just going to go out between 9 and 9.15 and just have a, a little saunter down to the village and then go to the dentist. So I might take you in the dentist. Ah, I thought Steve had a touch of an accent to him. Black country. The black country. Oh, I lost most of it now, I think. I've yeah. About 40, 45 years. Oh dear. In Shropshire, so yeah. Do pick it up very quickly if I go back home to see roads. My mum used to pick up accents when I was older. Yeah. If she went yeah. on all this in Scotland, she'd have a Scottish accent Scottish in three days. <laughs> Strange the way people sometimes do that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Some people think they're sticking the mick, but it ain't. So I'm going to show you up here now. Right up there. Oh, I'm going to look at this because I'm not sure whether this is open or not. This shopping centre has never been open since I've known it, but I saw people coming out of it the other day. So I'll be interesting to know what's here. So going up here is... Uh, up to the motorway, so the trees at the top there is the motorway. You see the cars whizzing by. And beyond that is Grand Sur, the shopping centre. So it's not far. And we'll see what's here. This is the MAC. We're going to take our lives in our hands. Yeah, we're good. So MAC is a, an insurance company. So I think this just must be just the insurance company's open. In fact, it's not even open. It's just an office and they say you gotta wait outside. So let's have a look at the rest of this place. That's where I started the drive around from last week. I finished another drive around, it's encoding as we speak. I'll publish it today. So you got three things to look at today. This walk, the drive around, and Monday meetup. Yuliani's gonna come. And Christian Maus, if you remember him, and his family are coming. And uh, who else is coming? Uh, Ian is coming, and his family, maybe. Okay. No, I don't think this is open. Let's have a quick look up the steps. Oh. Uh, Dominic Morning Tim from Scotland. There we go, they speak my language, look. But if you're not Spanish, English, German, Dutch or Russian, or is that French, is it? I don't know what it is. <sighs> this looks empty. IDS, Dr. David Carr. A lawyer's. Luis Sanchez Garcia. Have we still got network here? This is Institute of uh, Surgeons. 
Avanzada. I can't remember what Avanzada means. You speak Spanish, Steve? Uh, very badly. <laughs> GF Tick, whatever that is. Real estate. Canary Us. That's clever. And this is D Dimanan. Canaries. Looks like an office. So this is more of a hello. We've got a thing back. What's it called? There you go. <laughs> we got the trolls back. Oh, trolls back. Uh -huh. The old trolls. Oh. Have a look over here now. They little furry thing. Little girls, yeah. <laughs> In little boys' bodies. Okay, real estate. I don't know what that is. More offices. Cocktail experience. Has this been closed, maybe? Mm, looks like a while. Uh-huh. And some insurance offices. A poke place. That looks like it might be open. Uh, Monday, one till three. Oh, it's mainly for lunch for the, for the office workers, probably. And this is Volcano Bar. Is it the same one? No, it's a different one. Different one. I don't know if you can see in there. It's on tight. I've never been here before. This looks quite nice. This blue ring. This is for sale, if you want to call them. Well, this looks quite good. This is like an outdoor area for the volcano bar. OK, so in the evenings, on between Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they've got this nice bar out here. And this is a pizzeria carbone. A carbone. And taco takeaway. La Patrona. Comida para llevar. Food to take away. I don't know whether that's open either. And this hotel, I have no idea what it is. You have an idea? Um, yeah, what does it say? Oh. Okay, we're going to go back down, I think. We're going back down to the next crossing. So that, ladies and jelly spoons, was the Aquamal. <laughs> if it spelt with one L, it would be bad water. <laughs> Aquamal. So, Steve, have you been here before? To this area? Yeah. Uh, I've been around the area, sort of looking and whatever, but never really into it at all. I say most of the time has been spent along the coastline. Uh -huh. um, anywhere between. Well, we very often catch the bus, jump up, up to Los Gigantes uh -huh. um, and go down to Los Cristianos and places like that as well, uh -huh. just for days out. and So we get away from where we stop all the time. Uh -huh. Yeah, so many, so many beautiful places to go. Oh. Why has Karen Slater's message been deleted? Ah. Uh. Classic Coke, message deleted, there you go. Morning Tim, did you get kicked out this morning? I did. That was Ian Simon, that's a good one, Karen, seemed to do well. I stink, was hidden by Mark Robert. Thank you very much, guys, for getting rid of these people. I don't know why they, uh, they bother coming on my channel. It's not as if I've got thousands of followers. They're just, uh... oh dear. Did a lot of running last night to my gin bottle. 
Okay, we're gonna take our lives in our hands. Uh. Yeah, Karen, I didn't see what you what you said and why it was deleted, so. Oh, this is the Playa Real, Hotel Playa Real. And it's Playa, not Playa. Vamos a la Playa. Oh, that's sc that's scary. <laughs> Stuart, take our lives in our hands. Karen's messages are okay. Good to hear that, Karen. So we're going to go across here and see if we can get onto the path down the bottom there. Take our lives in our hands. I think we've got to go around there. Right? This way, I think. Yeah, the path's over in the middle. Oh, there's quite a lot of uh, trolls on this morning. And I can't do subscription only when I, uh, when I do it remotely, unfortunately. I can only do that on the computer. Computer! I'm going to set them up beforehand now. Uh, it's a pain in the bum, isn't it? These people that make it uh, come on and think they're clever. Yeah. Morning, everybody. <laughs> Hope you all had a good weekend. We did. Ian, we're out on Wednesday. I know you got the message. Uh, we're out on Wednesday in little Germany, so it might be hard for everybody to hear you on Wednesday. So what I'm thinking is you can come in at the beginning and say hello and then just watch in the background because I'm not having, oh my golly gosh. All messages here from uh, Potato Cake or whatever his name is. Potato Cake. That's his silly names, don't they? <laughs> Mm. Uh, anyway, don't even look. Not long before the Mac Master and Dam. Yeah, they're coming on Wednesday, actually. They're coming on Wednesday. Mm. Are you still behaving? able to? Just about. I don't think we'll get to meet him. I'd love to meet him up, up with him. I'd love to meet Darren John. I've been watching a lot of his vlogs as well. Uh, he's good. Brilliant. I've never met him, you know. No, it's... Uh, I say he used to be he used to live over in the island, did he? At uh, some stage, uh -huh. he used to sing and that. He was a singer, yeah. yeah. He'd gone so, by the time we got here, though. Yeah, so I think he did a bit of singing early days with uh, <coughs> Shell, Rick and Shell. Okay. Um, I, think it was, I think they were singing in the same places, but I'm not sing, sure whether yeah. they actually did anything I think they actually, I think together. They could have vlog on where they actually did do a little bit together. I think. All right. Like, but uh, yeah, many years ago, I think. Many, many years ago. Mm. I got into Darren John when he was doing uh, fit, fit 55 or Fit at 50. Oh, I didn't see any of he, those, no. Well, it's the same blog, he just changed the name of it. <laughs> yeah. So his blog originally was him getting fit. Yeah. You see, uh, now he's stuffing his face. I was going to say, now he's teamed up with the Mac Master. <laughs> he's had it now. Yeah. Too many fish and chips. Too many <laughs> fish and chips, pie and mash. Pie and mash. At English breakfast. Yeah. I'm not sure that, what is it, pie, mash and... What do they have liquor. Of? Liquor. It's eel juice. Eel. Oh. Nah. <laughs> I'll eat anything, me. Yeah, I'll it tastes anything. all right. <laughs> try anything once. So. Little Germany had liver on at the weekend. I was tempted. Oh, Chris won't have it. So. <laughs> yeah. I like most of them and stuff like that. People don't. Uh huh. There we go. 88 people online, 44 thumbs up. So half of you are delinquents. You need some more That's thumbs up, guys. Do a bit of cinematic. There you go. That wasn't that cinematic, was it? Okay. So for those of you joining us, we're behind the Duke shops. Well, actually, we're behind somewhere else now, but it's in the same area. It's a strip of land running parallel from uh, Fania Bay Plaza to the Duke shops, where the old um, what's it called was street market 
and this is where people bring dogs. As you can probably see, if I can show you the floor. They don't seem to think that they've got to pick it up here for some reason. But uh, hey, a lot of dog owners are very responsible. Because you don't see what they leave behind. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Uh, they don't use eel juice anymore. Hang on. Oh, what do they use? Just fish stock. Ah. Ah. Uh, yours can join in right away, both 20 grams and live. Oops. I nearly banned you there, Thomas. And live 15 years longer. Who wants to live 15 years longer? <laughs> you know, it always amazes me about people wanting to live long. You know, I'd rather have five years of fun than 15 years of, of not being a human. I don't want to live longer. I don't want to lose weight. I just want to... Well, I want to lose a bit of weight because I'm, a, I'm, I'm uncomfortable. But I don't want to get, like, fit. What happened then? I'll have to go running. That would be upsetting to Christina Lee. <laughs> you know, I seriously think that these trolls are about eight years old because they can't really come up with anything decent to say. <laughs> That's a nice colour bush. <laughs> That's what trolls should say, isn't it? Very much so. You've got a nice colour bush there. Uh -huh. Oh my God, I'm going to take my life behind Zia down here. I was vlogging the other day opposite Tanyo's and I fell down the steps. Oh, you didn't? Uh, steep steps those are as well. Yeah. I didn't see him. Oh, there was only like three, you yeah. know, the first three, but I, I just missed them totally. Want to see as many air uh, guitar? Take my life in my hands. Hey, hey, hey. So we're coming up to Fania Bay Plaza now. Ah. Yeah, about 12 years old, yeah. I don't know why uh, Google doesn't require you to verify yourself, you know? Yeah, it'd make more sense, really. It would make it? more yeah. sense, yeah. yeah. I'm sure they'd find a way around it, wouldn't they? That's probably true. Yeah, they're determined to leave silly comments anywhere. Uh, I miss Tony so much. Lovely to see it, says ES Trouble 84. Yeah, it's good to be back. It is good to yeah, be back. I've had three cancelled. Eventually managed to get back. So we sort of worked out that if you changed it to red while we were away, uh -huh. that was like Thursday night. Okay. I'm due to go back Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and they changed it to red now? No, no, not as far as I know. Okay. Yeah. It was, it was just in the plans, like coming up to it. Yeah. So, like, uh, if he decided he was going to change it. Ah, dear Boris. So, how was it going over, coming over? So organised, so easy. Yeah. Uh, everything, Birmingham Airport, everything was sorted straight through. Um, weighed your own baggage, put it on the conveyor belt, off it went. That was it. Checked on going on the plane. Plane was probably, I'd say, a good, a good 80, 85 percent full. Oh wow! Um, There's a fair few to come over. Coming through at Tenerife side, um, again, so straightforward and organised. Literally minutes through, and that was it. It was so, so easy. As long as you got the paperwork and that, uh, there were, I think, six or seven people at Birmingham side that refused entry onto the plane because their paperwork didn't tell you with what it should have been. Right, let's go this way. Check our lives in our hands quick. But yeah, I'd say, you know, as long as you've got everything in place, uh -huh. it's so easy, so straightforward. As for going back, we've got the... 
We've got all the uh, tests and everything booked for Thursday. Uh -huh. The apartments and everything, the complex we stop on, sorted all that out. I think that was, I can't remember, 35 euros each, I think. Was that an antigen test? Yeah, just an antigen test. Okay. Uh, apparently, the, just up your nose. That's it. Uh -huh. So it gets away from the oh, 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 bit. <laughs> well, I've never had a test because I've never been yeah. anywhere. So, um, yeah, we brought some tests over with us. Um, we've tested two or three times while we've been here. Just, just to make our, sure. Just for our own peace of mind. Uh -huh. right? um, but yeah, everything's so easy, so straightforward. Cool. Yeah. And where are you getting your test to go back? Uh, up at San Ueno. Uh, I think the it's just up the stairs next to the, I think it's the Irish Rover. Okay. Why well, I should know the name of the bar rather than <laughs> getting the test, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to, what time is it now? We've been on 35 minutes. We're going to find a place to have a coffee, right? Yeah, sounds good to me. See if anywhere's open. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll walk back to my bank. So, you know, on the street, give them a bit of distance. All right. Gonna take our lives in our hands again now. Okay, can't guarantee distance now, so you got to wear your mask. So this way is down towards the beach and the bowling alley and right down the front there in Playa Torviscas and Playa Fania Bay. All right, so we'll go and find a coffee place. This is the Hotel Jacaranda behind this truck. Best Jacaranda. As opposed to the worst Jacaranda, I suppose. OK, we're going to go in the middle here and then we can take our masks off again. Because it doesn't work around your wrist. It only works over your ears. This is Planet Game, or is it Game Planet? I'm not sure. That just shows you. Take our lives in our hands. My hands are bigger than yours. So the police are more concerned with parkers than with people. So let's have a look at some of the things. Uh, talking amongst themselves. Thanks for the advice, says Julie Wade. For Steve. You're welcome. Hope to be there in January. Thanks for the videos you do and driving into different areas, yeah. I got a drive around coming later on today. Uh, Maria, very helpful advice from your friend, thanks for that. Have a great time in Tenerife. Shame you can't block the IP addresses, I know, I know. Take our lives in our hands. Uh, Denise is coming on, on Monday, okay, cool. I mean, uh, we've caught up with him, okay. I can answer your prayer, says Jesus. 
Jesus is watching. Is he? Yeah. Mm. Face for Man City, doesn't he? Oh, da da da. <laughs> Somebody may have just woke up. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Maybe it is Jesus. I would have, I would have said Jesus, but his, uh, his picture is a picture of white Jesus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and uh, his last name's Christ. So this is Isla Benita, I think it's called, and it's been gutted and brought back to life. Walked past here not long back, did you? Yeah. Or you parked up yeah. here? I parked somewhere. up here, yeah. yeah. Went down the bottom. Yeah. This is the Bahia Fania Bay. Looks like people are waiting for a, a bus somewhere. Buses over here are good though, aren't they? I we don't use them anymore because they they uh, they didn't work for Christina very well. No, no. They've have got lifts in them now, but people yes. park in the bus stops and they can't yeah. and they can't get close enough to use the lift. So it's pretty useless. I mean, it's it's okay in Los Cristianos the big buses, the double buses because they yeah. you just have a little ramp on them. Well, the ones like this, they've got, they've they've got, got like where it drops out from underneath and so. No, it actually comes from the middle and then drops down. Drops down. It's like a lift. This guy's getting parking tickets. I better turn around. Not allowed to film the police in, the, in their duties. Always doing them all. Three of them. He's going to do all these. So the yellow zigzag lines are yeah. no parking? No parking, yeah. And theoretically, we can't get over here, but we're going. We're going to take our lives in our hands. Phil says he's bringing his old dad. He's not. He's never been before. Cool. Oh. So, take our lines in our hands. Get the mask back on. There we go. Ah. So the Siam Park bus is, is running, eh? Cool. That's a free bus. It takes you all the way to Siam Park. Also, I've never been. And we're coming back round corner. This is down to Plaza del Duc, down there. And this is the GF Fanny Bay. Not even one on the elbow there. So we're gonna to go to the middle here. Take our lives in our hands. And there's a coffee shop just in this thing here that might be open. And we'll sit down and have a quick chat. Because I don't think the coffee shop in the Duke shops is going to be open this, this early. I think they open at 10. And the bank, Sabadell. Good online bank in there. Very safe. I have to turn my phone off, it keeps going ding ding.
And there's the GF Isabel. I didn't realize the GF was an Isabel, was a bell. <laughs> Take our lives in our hands. Okay. Uh, uh. Have a quick look in here. And if the indoor place isn't open, we've got the outdoor place. So this is a, a Mercadona down here in the basement. Not a Mercadona, a Hibadino in the basement. No, the sports bar's not open. We did see a bar over there, didn't we? Just to the right down there. Okay. So. Just make sure I've got enough money. If you don't take a card. If not, I'll just go to the bank. <laughs> Oops. Okie dokie. So. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm not oh. sure if it's self service or not. But we'll see. Soon find out. We'll soon find out. Turn it yourself. Do you drink coffee? I drink everything. Yeah? <laughs> I drink everything. Yeah, I drink coffee as yeah. well. Yeah. Or what, what do you yeah. want to drink? Uh, coffee, no, coffee's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's milk coffee or cortado uh, or leche leche. No, uh, americano. Americano. Uh, sin azúcar. Sin. Sin azúcar. Yeah, a little bit of Spanish. Sin azúcar. <laughs> okay, I think he's going to come anyway. Oh, okay. yeah, Picks up bits, bits and pieces of Spanish, but nothing of any. If you want to learn these, uh, I recommend the guy, uh, what's he called? Spanish with Paul. Spanish with Paul, yeah. He's on YouTube for free and does 10 lessons. And if you like it, you pay $90 a year. Yeah. So, yeah, it's got to be worth a try. I said, we keep coming out that often. I need to, I need to learn a bit more. Uh-huh. Oh, hi, are you watching? <laughs> cool. I'll come over and say hello in a minute. We'll just order and then uh, I'll come over and say hello. What are you drinking there? Leche Leche Grande. Leche Leche Grande? That's a Grande, is it? Oh my God. <laughs> I better get a Grande then, isn't I? Here comes breakfast. Strange, you find that strange when you're about and people just... Yeah. 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 It's uh, amazing. Yeah, you can imagine. Uh, see what people are saying. So Marianne saying, Simon, looking forward to seeing that. Oh, what was Simon saying? Bye, Anne. Stay safe. Thanks a lot, Anne. Maria Air Tria video should be out soon. Okay, that's what he's saying about. Everybody saying goodbye to Anne. Uh, my coffee has gone cold now. I better warm it up. There you go. Sorry, Tim and Steve, you have to go back to work now. Okay, Anne, see you later. Is the Hard Rock open? Yes, it is. Hard Rock Hotel's lovely. How was the airport experience? Good, no issues. No issues. Oh. I'm bringing Dad, we've seen that. Came back from Tenerife yesterday, had a great time, says Tina. Absolutely packed on the way home. Airport was absolutely packed. I banned Jesus, I'm going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Guys knows you have a colonial name. You know anything you'll change the name a picture? Uh. <laughs> I'm popular with Jesus on my channel. He's trying to save me, that's what it is. He knows I'm a I'm a lost soul. There you go. Oh there was loads of stuff down there we missed. Okay, guys, we're gonna order. Tim and Steve, see you later. Bye, says Ian. Okay, Ian, thanks a lot Hi, for joining Ian. in. 
Is Ian coming over? Is he your... Ian's coming over in, in the thing, yeah? yeah. Hola, hola. Morning. Un café americano y para mí uh, leche, leche. Gracias. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're having a little bit of a coffee and a chit chat with Steve from Birmingham originally, but you come Birmingham. from Telford now? Yeah, Telford now. Yeah. yeah, Shropshire. And you've been over about for a week, you're staying a bit longer? Uh, yeah, been here for just over a week now. Um, unfortunately, got to go back on Friday. On Friday. Yeah. How often do you time to get over in a year? Is it more than once or just once uh, a year? Uh, if I could get out to work, it would be more than once a year. Uh, unfortunately, exactly. it's about this time every year. Okay, we try and cool. Get over. And you yeah. prefer like the end of the summer apart, as opposed to the high season? Um, it's not a case of preference really, because the wife works in uh, school. Oh, right, okay. So, so you, uh, yeah, you're we're, limited to, we're the, limited to okay, school yeah. holidays and that. Which makes it more expensive again. Huh? Again it does, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're both looking at retiring as soon as we can now. Uh -huh. So then we'll be able to come over more than once. And so you're going to think of retiring over here or are you retiring back I'd in Britain? I'd love to over. Reside over here, but yeah. uh, too much family. Right, right. Still at home, um, and yeah, two weeks over here, and I miss my grandson already. So, oh wow! Yeah. So, Our granddaughter is in Ghana at the moment. Yeah, I remember you saying that. She's uh, uh, she's there. harvesting peanuts. They've oh. just uh, they've just extended the farm. In fact, they've they've multiplied it by ten times. Yeah. And uh, the first harvest um, of, on the small farm was so good that he, he was allocated the, the rest of the area. Yeah. And he's just done his first um, harvest now. So they're sending us uh, videos and pictures back. Yeah. That's really good. Very good. And uh, my daughter got sunburnt because <coughs> it's rainy season over there. Yeah. But she got over it anyway. Lechi, Lechi. Thank you. Gracias. Uh, thank you. Oh. Uh, this is Lechi, Lechi. Yeah. Uh, Basically, it's a, a milk coffee with extra milk. Yeah. With condensed milk. Condensed milk at the bottom. Yeah, and you don't need sugar either. No. My mum my mom used to sit and I think it was condensed milk. She used to sit with a tin of it and uh -huh. a spoon uh -huh. and eat it. Oh, yeah. We used to have it on, that's on I butty. I never bring myself to have one. <laughs> Let you let you cheers, cheers, biggest. Cheers, biggest. Ah, we're coming out. Mm. I'm on now, am I? Cool. We're, we're being watched over. <laughs> I'm going to nip over and say hello. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, turn you right round. I'll tell you where we are. We're in this bar here, which I can't remember what it's called. Something Siskas, Rabaniskas, and who did we meet? But a couple that watch the channel. What's your name, love? Olinka. Olinka and Stuart. Stuart, Stewie. And they're having a great breakfast here. I'm going to show you what breakfast it is. Oh, look at that. Yes, tuna. Yeah. Tuna. Where, where are you guys from? Birmingham. 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 Yeah. And how long have you been over? Two months. Two months. Yeah. Are you staying longer? Oh no! Yeah, so you've been here two months, it's the first time we meet? Yeah, we all see the crack pass every morning. You see him, do you? I'll swim in, alright. Here we go. I lost weight? No, it's actually, I look fatter on, on, on screen. Really, yeah. I'm always been, I've always been like this. Every, every looks fatter on screen. So, what we're going to do, we've got to get a selfie now. Okay. So, this, you're going you're gonna to move in this way. There you go. Hi. And take a screenshot. <laughs> nice to see you. Enjoy your breakfast. Very nice to see you. You too. I will definitely say hello to Christina. She's meditating. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's always nice to meet people. Say hello. Uh, oh, yeah. Big part of the world. Huh? And from a good part of and the world. And a good part of the world, yeah. Okay. So what's happening today? Today is, uh, I'm going to go home. And I actually exported the drive around last night and it came out without sound for some reason. So I'm exporting it again. And they're quite big, these files. So it takes quite a while. 
and uh, so what I'm going to do now is when I've got I've set it up again when I get home I'll check that one and then I'll publish that around about one o'clock maybe I'm not going to do a premiere or anything I'm just going to post it and then tonight at 5.55 I'll, um, we're going down to Terrassa del El Hable in uh, Cayo Savaki so if you want to join us there it's a Monday meetup it's going to be every Monday now unless I t uh, tell different and if you get the 473 and get off in Cayo Savaki it's right next to the bus stop so you, there's a corner bar called the Nebula which is closed on a Monday and above that is the Terrassa El Hable which is open hopefully and there's also another Corioyo, the Rincon de Corioyo, which is a uh, Venezuelan uh, restaurant in the back of that. So if that's not open, we'll go to that one. So we'll be in the same area. And if it's all closed, we'll nip down the Indian and uh, carry on, carry on there. So if you want to join us, you don't have to let me know. Just uh, get a bus or a taxi to the um, to Cayo Savaki, and it's right outside the taxi rank. So if you get a taxi, you just get off at the taxi rank and it's right there walk through the ginnel up the stairs and we'll be up there i'll be there around about 5 30 5 45 to set up and uh, we're going live at 5 55 and then we're going to have something to eat um at seven offline so uh we're not going to eat on camera and uh chit chat with the people who are there i do know that Yuliani's coming and she's bringing christian mos uh, that she met years ago in one of the hotels, in the uh, Rio Hotel in Playa Paraíso. And his family, I know that, uh, I think it's Ian's coming with his family. And um, uh, a couple of other people have said they might come, but this this not confirmed, but it'd be a nice thing. So we'll, we'll have a chat with those people. And like Steve today, who's joining us, we're gonna put names to the faces. What's your name on when you do you do do you type at all? Uh, do occasionally I leave comments. Uh, uh, it always comes up as just Steve Newbrook. So okay, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't found a what do they call them handles or whatever. You've you not got them. a handle, no. no. Okay, like the crack master. I, I haven't I haven't even worked out how to do that. Me and technology <laughs> do not exist. <laughs> oh dear. So we've been on how long now? Uh, we've been on 57 minutes. So I'm going to say Tara. So first of all, I'm going to say ta to Steve. Goodbye, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very yeah. much for coming this morning. It was great having you there. And uh, it gives me other things to talk about. Yeah. And great. I'm just going to see what online. you guys are saying before I go. Bye-bye, yeah. says David. Did your guest feel it was a bit tense at the airport? Do you feel a bit tense at the airport? No. No, not at all. I watch it, it back. It was all very, very calm, very, yeah. Everything was so well organized. Yeah. It was, yeah. Nothing if you watch it back, Joe, he mentioned it earlier on. Uh, nice luck, Tim. Nice to meet Steve, says Karen. Uh, did you guess? Oh, I've done that one. You're doing a great job, Mark. Oh, there's quite a few people. Um, don't time these people out or delete messages. Just ban them. <laughs> if, you, if you think they need banning, just ban them. So please, that's Daniel Business is doing so well, yeah? Yeah, yeah. excellent, yeah. I had trouble getting booking some tours. Yeah, that busy at the moment. The, he the, did say. Yeah, the whole island is very busy at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, there was a loads of people who were uh, messing about. Has anyone got any advice on where to book the test you need? It looks like a real minefield, says Mikhail. It depends where um, you're staying, obviously. Yeah, I say for us, the uh, the complex, the apartments that we stop in at Sunset Harbour, uh, they booked it straight away for us. Okay. Um, the only thing I would advise, because it's getting busier here now, is that basically as soon as you get here, find somewhere to book it straight away. Okay. So that you can get time slot in this for getting back home. I did uh, realize, I did find out that Siam Mall are doing it as well now. So there's a place in Siam Mall, and they do the same day test. Yeah. Or the I, next day delivery if you're after mid if you're after midday, right? Yeah, I think this is uh, this only takes about half an hour. So you, you take the test, mm. wait around, okay. and they email you through the results. Okay. Hopefully negative. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what happens uh, if you test positive? Do they tell you that? Uh, yeah, I would assume they tell you that, and I would assume then that I've got to isolate over here because then it becomes I'm not fit to fly. So, All right, okay. Yeah. There you go. So I would assume at that stage that two are not going to let me back on the plane. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Um, so it'd be terrible having to stop here for another five days or so, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Olenka, thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
This is the linky right here. <laughs> Okay. Right, I really am finishing now. Over on the 3rd of September, I'll treat you to a coffee. Oh, Neil. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm on, I'm on Tim and Tonics at the moment as well. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I can't remember which side it is now. I think it's this one, is it? Yeah, it is. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining us today. This is Tim Dow for Living With MS in Tenerife. Don't forget tonight, 5.55, we've got Meet Up Monday. This Wednesday, we have the year's anniversary dinner at Little Germany on Wednesday at 5.55 with Cleo and Juliana and Christina and a couple of other people that we met who have booked a table for dinner on the same day. So if we can get the whole place full of people who like us, then they won't, nobody will complain about us filming, which is good. So if you're on the island on Wednesday and you want to come to Little Germany, give them a call. The tables, there's only about five tables, so um, first come, first served. Uh, call Little Germany, call Kirsten and tell them you want a seat uh, for the balcony banter for Tim and Christina, Juliani, Cleo. So Google thinks you might like this one next. And if you fancy supporting the channel through a donation through PayPal, get the little square button in the corner there. And if you want to subscribe and get more content like this and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing here. This is Tim Dow for Living With MS and Tenerife signing off. Thank you and goodbye. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya.